Joining us now is Nuveen's chief investment officer, Sarah Malik. Sarah, you think that at least for some tech stocks, things could get better here, but aren't valuations stretched, especially in the AI hype? Why should we believe that tech is a good spot? I think as uh, the Fed pauses and yields start to roll over, that'll be a tailwind for tech stocks, but there's going to be winners and losers. Let's start with Apple, where no news was bad news for the stock today. Just coming out of their event, you know, really just incremental news on new products. iPhone 15 is just an incremental upgrade to the, to the prior iPhones. Also, two other headwinds from COVID in China. They're dealing with COVID normalization of units and also China headwinds with 20% of their revenues from China. Uh, expected negative revisions for their earnings and a premium valuation. So I think that's also that's going to be a lot of headwinds for Apple and Oracle too, where uh, growing pains from the Cerner acquisition, uh, you know, issues in their cloud business, and this was a crowded value stock coming into earnings. So not surprised to see Oracle also down today. But then there's winners in the software space like Palo Alto Networks. These are companies that could benefit from a slowing economy, low M and A risk for Palo Alto Networks, revenue growth based on the cloud. So these are all. These, so there's been a lot of winners and losers. We like software stocks, mm. semiconductor stocks that are suppliers to AI. But there's also going to be losers like Oracle and, and maybe Apple going forward. Okay, I hear you, but I gotta say, people have been saying that these iPhone updates are evolutionary, not revolutionary, for at least the last trillion dollars in market cap. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, but but okay, so let's talk macro a bit. When it comes to CPI, right? That number. What's it going to take on the downside? or on the upside, depending on how you look at it, in that number to move markets one way or another? Well, going into CPI, we think there's going to be three factors people are looking at. Headline, CPI, goods, and services. So we think headline will be stronger than core because gas prices are up about 7% since July. Now, digging into core, good services should show a decline because of lower car and truck prices, but services should, should still continue to accelerate. The wild card will be airfare prices, and we expect continued heat in a wage, in a shelter prices, and also healthcare price, prices. If all of that is is basically the status quo, I think markets will digest it fine. Now, if we see a hotter CPI number than that, especially within the core, then that Fed rate hike that has been priced out for September uh, may be back on the table. We still expect the Fed to perhaps raise rates in November, though, before they take an elongated pause. I think you know, one more thing the markets are worried about is will we get rate cuts in 2024? We don't think you're going to see those in the first half of 2024. So, Sarah, have yields peaked or is it still too soon to tell? I think y yields are plateauing as we get to that final potential rate hike in November. Yields will basically peak. And that's why we do like tech stocks from here. Not only yields peaking and the tenure rolling over, but also inflation continuing to moderate. And the AI tailwinds, why they... While they will take a long time to play out, they are real. So companies like NVIDIA, also Broadcom, the ones that can win sort of in any environment on the, in the AI space should continue to benefit. All right. So disinflation, is this a good thing for markets or are there unintended consequences? I mean, it can depend on the day. It, it really depends on the economy. And that's, you know, to me, uh, there's a tug of war right now between economic growth and inflation. Investors are happy with inflation moderating as long as the economy continues to hold up. What's been holding up the economy is two factors, the consumer and employment markets. Employment markets still look strong to us. We like the consumer. We heard good news out of the conference today, but we are concerned about a credit with the consumer. Auto delinquencies, credit card delinquencies are up significantly for the consumer. That is starting to show signs of cracks for the economy.